Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike Bamelui, aka G Mikey. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about the Grammys. The Grammys that held a while back on the 5th of February, to be precise. There was an event there that kind of shocked everyone. It's not everyone, but at least every sane person yeah. was shocked. And then we want to talk a little bit about it. that show and more importantly, the Grammy as a whole. And I'm not talking about this alone. I'm here with the admin of Mazar Music Studios. My wife, Sewe Do, who sat in the house. Round of applause for everyone. Round of applause for everyone. Thank you for the Sure. It's J, J, J Mikey. So, before we, we get into the business the discussion, let's just quickly watch the video that started all of this buzz in the first place, and then we'll get back to it. Is the applause for me like everyone is ah, oh first of all a lot of people might feel like oh they just did this for the buzz for the buzz of it for the excitement of it just to raise awareness for people to talk about but then if that was the case they don't have to go this demonic to achieve that mm. i mean i was saying will smith slapping chris rock on stage had better engagement yeah. than, than, this. <laughs> than this and it wasn't demonic it was two people having beef for each other but that aside i feel there is more to this there is more to this whole thing than people care to admit. I believe it's them displaying what exactly is in their minds, what exactly is ruling their affairs. It's, they are paying homage to something and it's the devil. But a lot of you might feel, oh, we are overthinking it, we are overthinking it. Really? Okay, let's continue. A few days ago, I said it gets more blunt and each time. The reflection of what rules in their minds. I dare to say that there is no real heaven mandate reason why a child of God would desire to be in the Grammys. Now, when I tweeted this, <laughs> a lot of people are saying, Joshua Troublemaker, Joshua Troublemaker. And I'm like, Trouble. This is supposed to be basic for me. Before I get into more of that, what, what's your take on that? What's your take on that statement? Uh, uh, actually, it, it, it is plain where where you actually mentioned. Here to say that there is no ever mandate reason why a child of God, Christian, would desire. Hmm. So if your desire is to be in the Grammy, then a lot of things is actually wrong. Desire should not be you should not be fooled by all these kind of ephemeral things. They can say that they want to stop Grammy tomorrow. So what becomes the fate of people that didn't win Grammy? It's that didn't win, I mean, <laughs> and then I even now said heaven mandate, heaven mandate, mandate. Reason. Because what is the heaven mandate? What is the great commission? Go into the world and preach the gospel, mm -hmm. which will make disciples unto all men. What does the Grammy signify? The Grammy signifies a... They are clapping for you. Well done. Now, people might say, like Pastor Sam said, he said, Brother, so I expect replies like this coming. <laughs> but sir, we can take over the Grammys for God. God wants to use this platform to reach more, more people. <laughs> Honestly, if your aim as an artist mm. and you're a Christian is, oh, you want to win the Grammys, and that is your personal aim and ambition, I don't have any problem with that. But when, which is what Sam also mentioned, the problem is a lot of people now mix, they mix their personal ambition into, it's for the gospel, it is for God, it's for God. Eh, it's for God, it's for God. You don't need to be in the Grammys to fulfill the Great Commission. You don't need to win an award at the Grammys to win the Great Commission. If it's your personal ambition, let's know it's your personal ambition. But don't mix it up with the gospel. That was the point that I made when I said there is no real heaven mandate reason. Let's go on. What's your take uh, people, further on that? The people that I actually have issues with is people that actually think that Grammy is a mountain. Yeah, they say let's take over that music mountain so we win the Grammys. <laughs> no, Grammy is not the, it's not a mountain. It's actually a system that was organized by a few set of people and they said that oh, it is going to be an award system mm -hmm. for people that probably are doing well. Mm -hmm. So later they started expanding and expanding and expanding. So the fact that they even said that oh there's going to be a Christian category is actually because they saw that oh these Christian guys are actually buzzing too. And they have a lot of audience. Let's let's tap into let's that audience. Enter into so, it. I think it was you I was telling that when they created because people are saying, Oh, what about the Christian category? Can't we win in the Christian category? <laughs> but then they don't realize that them creating a Christian category is not because they actually care about they Christian. don't care about they don't care <laughs> gospel music, they don't care about you winning souls. They are trying to tap into that audience, yeah, that yeah, mass yeah. audience of Christians, and so they create a Christian category. Now, okay, if you can actually give them an award, or their people can actually look up to their the people that they look at as mm. idols in this aspect and mm. say, Oh, this person just won the Grammy, mm. they just listen to this person. Mm. And the way the system actually works is anybody can get uh, their music submitted to the Grammy, mm. anybody can get nominated for. 
the grammy i mean they check the billboard how your song is good mm-hmm. to work, mm-hmm. the billboard. then your song will go through the recording academy then goes into the deep committee mm. where they actually pick the winner of the winners mm. so they they actually look at a lot of other things there so the thing is that if a christian gets to actually that level there are certain things that actually makes the person the winner not because your music is necessarily the impacting best. the world mm. or anything but they look at some other things that mm. can actually help them in that marketing them. yes mm. in marketing their, their mm. agenda mm. and mm. pushing their agenda forward mm. so they are not ignorant mm. they are people that they they know what they are doing mm. they they are very systematic in everything that they are doing they don't do things anyhow i think i i think that's something that is even that that pained me a bit because when people were attacking my tweet there was someone that said are you now saying that we should not Christians cannot go for World Cup 2 <laughs> since World Cup 2 is not gospel. <laughs> like they say, what about somebody winning an award for best worker in an office setting? So you see these comparisons that they are used to compare. They don't realize, and it's out of their simple mind. Mm. You are thinking simple of this thing. But the people you are thinking simple for, they are, they deep, are thinking deep, very deep, very, very deep. Now, this video we just saw, at the end of that video, it wrote Pfizer, sponsored by Pfizer. Mm. Pfizer are the ones who are doing this vaccine. Oh, wow. Why is Pfizer sponsoring a video <laughs> or a show that promotes the kingdom of darkness? A man in horns, women in skimpy and exposing revealing clothes Perfect. in a show that supposedly children are meant to be able to see. To watch. See, <laughs> do not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Anyway, let's continue. So, so, let's say. so well, for a Christian, I actually think that there are other award systems. If award is what you are looking for <laughs> say if award is what you are looking for <laughs> there are other award systems that if you can actually structure <coughs> things in your music career in mm. everything it can actually get you there mm. we have other people that are actually representing us in dove awards mobile awards and all at least there was a time that uh called out music actually won like three mobile awards mm-hmm. in one i night. think I, I also tweeted it i said the problem is not even about the awards because that's what some people don't get in yes. what I'm the, the, the lady said, there is, it is not a thing and Frankly, I kind of get upset when Christians <laughs> argue with me over it is not a sin. I think we should have grown past Fast, it is what is a sin and what is not a sin. <laughs> we should be in a wiser realm now. Now, what am I trying to say? If you want to win an award and it is your personal ambition to win an award, fine. I don't have any issue with that. The problem is when we try to sugarcoat it in, I'm doing this for God. And make it look like an agenda. And you understand? I want to, I want to do this to proclaim the God. You... No, <laughs> no. If, if the aim is so winning and the aim is to proclaim the kingdom of God, you don't need the Grammys. In fact, I wrote another tweet saying that the way we responded to this tweet shows how highly we've taken the Grammys. Mm. That before we can take over the mountain of music, then we have to, we win, have Grammy. to win Grammy. Grammy is one of the mountain. No, no, it's... no. <laughs> no. Grammy is not. It's not. We're actually the one that are actually empowering Grammys because mm. technically, Grammy was just like any other. Award. Mm. Until people started looking at it as, and that's because and they that's actually started. Achievement. They started with a very credible and open voting system. Mm. Until it became secret that they don't know. You know, a lot of people that actually make this, they don't know what goes on deep in, mm-hmm. in the ground. They don't know mm-hmm. how do you trust a system that is not open. Mm. How do you trust a system that you don't know what exactly is going on inside? So I, I think that the only thing that we can actually say when we are talking about this, and, and it depends on if God has actually sent you to that place to actually win that terrain mm-hmm, for him. Mm-hmm. It's actually if you have been trained enough mm-hmm. and God is making you an apostle in the marketplace mm-hmm. and Jesus himself is sitting on you and is directing your path. That's the, speaking of that point now, <laughs> when you said if God actually sent you there, because someone actually made that tweet saying, while we now say God can actually send someone to the Grammys, just like God told the prophet to marry a now, My point there is, of course, God can give instructions that seem very foolish, very foolish. to a lot of people. But then, specific instructions to specific people doesn't Guarantee validate everybody should do every christian should do it now god gave an instruction to a prophet to marry a that is not equivalent to god saying christians mm-hmm. marry a halot because remember <laughs> he said do not be unequally yoked with on with an unbeliever so that's like, but god told the prophet to marry a halot so we can marry a halot so <laughs> god sending a specific person does not mean that it validates that Christians should actually be chasing the Grammys. So okay. someone actually talked about, ah, like this tweet says, let's take it easy. Daniel was at the headquarters of sorcery, who was the most strange advisor for three pagan gods. Joseph too communed with magicians in his time. 
Now, the, if I, the, the thing is that these people actually were involved in kingdom things. Kingdom matters. Still, AKA, kingdom matter. in today's time, politics. politics. Yeah, politics and all sorts. You know, if if somebody is actually in in a minister, probably a minister for media or entertainment mm-hmm. or anything, mm-hmm. now that kind no of matter person, how corrupt that system yes, is, can, the person can yeah, actually can say that. Oh, yeah. you know, I need to go there. I God need has to sent do me this. There. I need to do that. But when it comes to Grammy, Grammy does not affect the least person in Nigeria. It does not. It does not even affect the least person in the US. In US. So it is just an award system mm-hmm. that anybody, if you actually base the standard of what we Mm. If if we reduce it to award, we are actually reducing the best of what God can be mm. to what to what, what, what man has put up as placed up. and what man says is or, the best. Yes, or what man says because it's men that is telling you now that this, this is, is the, the best gospel. This is the best this gospel. Now, oh the, my God! You know, now you are allowing you are, you are you are allowing a group of people who actually, are not even saved to, to tell you <laughs> to tell you that this is the best. Yeah, this is the best music gospel music. Listen. Oh my! Now oh, you are reducing you are reducing God. the best of God to what a man. Yeah. He's thinking. Yeah. In fact, not even a man that knows God, a man that whose agenda, yeah. whose different. agenda is different from what you're thinking. So I actually think that for of course Jesus Christ told his disciples that of course when men praised them after they had healed the sick, mm-hmm. the seventy apostles mm-hmm. and all, I actually feel like probably they were sent to marketplaces mm. and all go and do this, go and do that. And after that time, when they came back, he said, I rejoice not that people, all these things are happening. Rejoice mm. that your name is written in heaven. Which means that God, Jesus Christ, was actually taking them from the focus of men appraiser mm. to God appraiser. God that appraiser. men can actually praise you into destruction. Yeah. The same men that actually praised Saul that mm. killed 1,000. Mm. And the same people that will still, that come, will and still say, come and say, David killed 10,000. 10, oh. So it is, it is actually yeah. a very... I, yeah. I, I think that for, for Christians, we should actually look more to the reward from God and our word from men. Thank you. That I think that should that should be the that should be the main thing. Christians, gospel artists, gospel ministers have to learn to prioritize and let your eyes be single, as yes. the Bible puts it. If you're going to focus on soul winning and kingdom expansion, you cannot focus on that one while still also focusing, focusing on, on the thing. appraisal. If, if, now there is nothing wrong in a group of people coming to you saying they want to, you know, appreciate, appreciate you for all your you effort. Did. That is fine. But when you now begin to push for that for it, appraisal, you know, is, that is where you need to good. look at if your focus is still straight. There, there are very awesome people that have won the Grammys before. Oh, yes. Oh, that's even something won. I wanted to add. Somebody Mike said, Kassan. so what about Ceci Winers and Maverick yes, City it's, and, it's uh, and Franklin that have won the Grammys? Are we now saying they are evil? Are we now? No, I was not saying that is not two <laughs> things. Number one, number one. <laughs> Our yardstick, our gauge is not people. It's not human. So, 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 person, minister, something does this, pastor, something does this. It does not mean that it is right or it is wise. Mm. They are not the standard. The standard is the word of God. Yes. And the standard is the Holy Spirit interpreting that word of God to you. So that's number one. Then number two, that they've done something doesn't mean they still go by it today. Yes. Because that's something I feel a lot of people don't realize. Mm-hmm. They did something, they got something doesn't mean that they stand by it today it doesn't mean when they got it that time what they saw there is what they are seeing there today so there are so many things you so we can't just say oh this person and even if they got it and they had it it doesn't to me that is not the basis anyway um a pastor pastor sam also said something and i really loved the passage he brought out here yeah in this tweet he said the idea that god needs men to have big platforms to spread the gospel is patently untrue god needs everyday men and women in every kind of platform rich or poor noble or not the takeover gospel you know let's take yes, over the let's grammys take let's the take over this one we... implies that apostle paul doesn't know what he was saying in first corinthians 1 26 which says brothers and sisters think of what you were when you were called not many of you were wise by human standards not many of you were influential not many of you were noble birth but god chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise god chose the weak things of the world, of the world to shame the strong god chose the lowly things of the world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so for we to think that we want to make impact so therefore we need to go to these platforms that were not even inspired by god in the first place i feel it is we are belittling the power that god has actually given us you know that's that i think uh even when jesus christ was tempted the devil took him to the top of the river and he said, said i will give you the kingdom, the kingdom yeah. of mm-hmm. the world every time there is that bargain that comes mm. that oh see i will give you the kingdom of the world if you can actually give me this music mm. 
Mm. If you can focus on this thing, don't worry, you are going to make you a star. If mm. you can focus on this mm-hmm, thing, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. a lot of all these artists face this thing every, every day. Time. Okay, yeah, there's one more point I would like to also make. Okay, not the last point anyway, okay. but the point that when people say, Oh, like someone was also tweeting that gospel music actually won the highest number of Grammys. Uh, we won best gospel performer, best Christian music album. But then, just like you just stated now, while we, while there was a call, mm. it's not really about the gospel awards. We've, I know we've said that previously. Yes. It's not the person per se that they're after. It's the fan base. Now, let's look at this analogy. If they call an artist or a music group or a Christian music group mm. with a fan base of about 10 million people listening to them. <laughs> now, they call that artist into their midst. Into the Grammy show. Some people are saying, yeah, hey, just collect the award and go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> if they, now, they call that person into their midst to collect an award. They call that person maybe one, two hours into the show. Mm. Now, a lot of those 10 million people who are following this, uh, this gospel artist are watching that show yes. to see if they will win. And then that video we just watched now comes up. Mm. One thing I've learned and I keep saying about content what you see and what you hear. Mm. You don't have the power to block out block whatever. Once it goes into your eyes and into your ears, there is something it is doing, as little as a seed. Mm. So now, th- those people watch those videos, they'll be like, ah, look at what these people are doing. Ah, very terrible. They are watching it too. <laughs> now they watch it. Their, their own job is done. The person collects their award though, we begin to give glory to God though, mm. but the people organizing that program, they they've done. Want. They've achieved what they want yeah, to achieve. They've, they've called people to themselves. The passage says, "If my name be lifted high, I will draw men to myself." Do you know that there was a way the devil also does it, such does that he will raise his own name up and draw Amen. people to. But it is not by force. It is through attraction. Yeah, are, You need to be very careful. Though. Yeah, in fact, you need to be very careful. The thing is that it is everything that Satan does has an agenda. The same way God wants to push out. A child that is a believer, mm. the devil actually looks out for the person the same way he does, he did to Jesus. Yep. And every time that bargain always comes. Mm. That bargain always comes. So we shouldn't just look at things as they are just doing what they are they doing. Are just, they are just, they are just having they are fun. Just, they are just appreciating them. They are them. just appreciating them. That, you know, it is deeper than that. It is it, it has an end goal. And the end goal is that they might arrest a lot of people to their side mm. and see that oh, these particular people are the people that are the devil, or these are the people that we have brought to you. The same way we will give account, and the same way the same, these people to give account yes. of the people that they are yeah. I yeah. want also so for you, Jesus. Hmm. They will say that too. I want also so for you. So they are actually working so hard hmm. to make sure that the heart of these people are corrupted and they are brought to. So when they are saying that, oh, they are giving the Christian their own this thing. Hmm. Some people they, even said, don't you know that this thing is making God popular? Ah! God doesn't need gravity to be popular. God, 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 God will never ever need gravity to be popular. Ah, it is well, though. <laughs> you know, it so well. <laughs> you can be sent there. I'm not mm. saying that you cannot be sent there. But Just be like you sure. said, yeah, be sure that it's God sending you. So, and the fact that God sends you there is not a not, yardstick for everybody. It's not a yardstick for every Christian. God sends a Christian to go into a street club or go into a club, let's even say a regular club, okay. to preach to people. To preach, does not now validate that Everybody every Christian should be, should be able to go to That's a mountain a, now. That's a mountain. That's a mountain. The mountain of drunkards. <laughs> let's win drunkards. So let's go into the club. Let's go into clubs. No, oh, that's not how it works. Yeah. So the things we've learned today now, first of all, yeah, the fact that God can send a person to an, a, a very ridiculous situation does not validate every Christian be yeah. doing likewise. Yeah. Number two, Every gospel artist should make sure that their focus is precise. Mm. Why are you singing? What's your talent for? If it is for soul winning and for kingdom expansion, I watch shows that are very suspicious like this should not be what you should be aiming for. In mm. fact, I w- you should not even be uh, chasing the praises of men to even begin with. Yeah. They, they, people want to appreciate you, fine. But you, that's not what you chase. Mm. All right? So that's number two. Then what's the third thing we said we were talking about? That these things are not based on, oh, this person is a good artist, let us award him. No, there are systems. There are a lot of systems. There's a lot of systems. Like Myra was just saying when you talked about how many songs they get per yeah. year. Oh, 70,000. Yeah, about 70,000 yeah, 70, songs. You go to 12,000 people. Go to 12,000 judges. Now go to the reduced to committee. To the reduced the secret the committee, committee that now decide. <laughs> the so winner, the winner. <laughs> it's not based on your song is sweet. So actually, there are some people that when you feature them naturally, they win a grant. You win a You so can imagine it, that it, now. It, so you really do have to struggle 
to say that oh and this yeah. is really good. So yeah, please so, we have Dove awards for there are still very Google very awards. safe awards that if your followers watch there's no risk there of any no risk of you know, anything you know they go there they worship God and they get their award and as a matter of fact you can actually still have a system that can be credible and open enough that yeah. we actually that can be bigger than the Grammy. So mm. we can, it will just take time, but yeah, we can. We can, we can. So, we are posting Jesus name. So let me know what you think in the comments below about what we just watched, what we just discussed. What do you think? Should we be there? Should we not be there? Should we outrightly block off? Should we say there is a hope? So what what's your thought? I'd like to see your thoughts in the comment section. And of course, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Please hit subscribe. Please hit subscribe. The, hit the notification button Please if you haven't subscribe. if you haven't done that. And I'll see you guys in the Please next video. Follow. There's a next video that we're still going to be doing that I really want us to see. So if you want to know when the video is out, click the notification button as well. My name is Jamal Bamelo and this is Oluwamaiwa Sewedo Wusa. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you. <laughs>